Hello and welcome to this section. And here we are going to talk about something on SQL, Structured Query Language. I'm going to use Oracle to solve some of the business problem. This is the first business problem and we will try to solve this using co-related sub-queries. Let's try to understand what is the scenario. Here is my data set. Now here you can see that I have department 100, department 80 and department 50. Three departments we have in my data set. These are the salaries for the department 100. These are the salaries for department 80. And these are the salaries for department 50. What I am interested in, this is the average salary which I have for individual department. If I check this, if I take the average, the average which you see is 7920. This is the average salary for that department. Same way here, the average salary is 12,200. That is what coming up here as well. And here also we have the average salary 49792 and that is what you are getting here as well. Now what I'm interested in, my requirement is I want all the salaries, all the employees where salary is greater than the average. This is the, this is the average salary. I want the salaries greater than this particular salary. So obviously these two guys having more than this salary. Here 12,000. 200 so these two guys are more than the salary which is average salary and here 4792 so these are the guys above 4792 apart from that i don't see any employees which is greater than 4792 so these are the five employees these are the two employees and these are the two employees as well which i want as an output so that is the requirement so basically on the average of department I want the salaries greater than the average of that department. What is the solution? Here is the data set, exactly same data. So you'll see that there is no difference. I just copied the data in the CSV file. That is what the data is all about. Total number of records we want to see, you can check that it's 23. And here also you see there are 23 reports. So the data is exactly the same. Now what I'm looking for is I want the average salary by the department and i want all the employees whose average salary is more than the uh, salary is more than the average salary basically so let's say i want last name salary and department id so select last name salary and department id from emp Let's give this as an alias E, where salary is greater than. Select average salary from EMP, where department ID is equal to E dot department. ID. This is the query which I have to write. Now here what will happen? It will take the first record which is nothing but last name salary department of the first record. So this, this guy will come in. So last name, this column will come in, salary, this column will come in and department ID, this column will come in. This will be my output for the first outer query then what will happen it will compare the salary of the average salary of the employee table for that department only right department id is equal to same department id so my first record is department id which is nothing but 100 it will take the average salary of entire department by doing this join it will give me all the records of that department and I'm taking the average salary of that department and then that value comes out to be 7920 9000 will get compared with 7920 and if salary is greater than that yes it is greater than that so it will be an output it goes to the second record now second record is this 8200 it will get compared with 
20. Yes, it is. It will also come. Third record, it will not come. So what you see here, it's like a row by row type of processing happening in this correlated subquery. All right, so all these values will not participate. Then it will go to the second department. Again, it will compare 14,000 with 12,200, 13,500 with 12,200, and so on. Same way for these department as well. So if I will execute this query, I should get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine records. And let's check that. If I'll execute this particular query, something goes wrong. Department, so spelling is wrong. Department here. Department ID. Execute. And you can see that I am getting how many records? Nine records. All right, let's check that. So first one is Paviet. Chen, Russell, Partners, first four records. Faviet, Chen, Russell, Partners, perfect. Waze, Fripp, Coughling, Wallman, Morgos. Wiff, Fripp, Coughling, Wallman, Morgos. Absolutely correct. So this is how this subquery will help me to get the employees, which is or get the employees which are greater than the average salary they have. So I hope this makes sense. It's an important concept and I'll talk about some more examples in some more future videos. So wait for that. Till then, happy analyzing.